Ow. This is a mall. We're about to get dangerous. We're going to do some dangerous things. So, a mall. Tell us, is, uh, in as few words as possible, what your company is. We are a biohacking company focused on implantable devices. That was faster than I could even take a drink of my coffee. That's right. So what does that mean? Implantable devices, that means you're actually going to put something inside of someone and not in those ways, you guys. This is the internet, but not that internet. This is safe for work. <laughs> yeah, safe for work. So yeah, it basically just means that... Uh... <laughs> You know, I want to be inside you in a safer work kind <laughs> right, of way. Right. I, I do have a shirt that I want to make that says, I want to put things inside of you. But, uh, you know, it's still in progress. But essentially, it just means that, uh, you know, what used to be the bastion of, like, universities and special, you know, companies working on FDA-type medical devices, mm -hmm. now technology is available that we can leverage uh, for non-medical uses, uh, kind of fun uses, and, uh, you know, kind of more in the maker, hacker kind of uh, type uh, arena. And what are you going to do with an implant? That's the first question everyone's going to think. Why would I put something inside of me? Well, uh, I'm, I'm the, the most simple thing is that if you want to look at it very simply, it is an RFID transponder, which just means uh, it's a radio frequency ID tag, similar to what pets get. And, okay. and in the pet context, it's, hey, I want to scan this and figure out who, who Fluffy's owners are. In inventory context, like Walmart or whatever, it's, hey, how many sweaters do I have on the shelf? But in a human context, it's about identity. So, uh, you know, when I go home and I want to get in the door and I don't want to get my keys or maybe a little bit too tipsy to get my keys, you know, mm -hmm. just being able to reach for the door handle and have it read and, and open, that's uh, that's a convenience that, that I really appreciate, particularly when you think about, like, the modern-day Tomagachis that we have, like right. the, the wallet, the keys, the phone. I mean, these are the three critical things for going anywhere in society. You leave your house without one of them and you freak out. So I'm kind of reducing that, that burden by one-third. Now, will you be able to use these to pay for things? I mean, it's not really caught on in America, but say like in Japan or Europe or something. So contactless payment is a whole different thing, and uh, it is something we're looking at, but it requires a lot of participation from banks and the whole uh, you know system there. So it's it's a possibility technically, you know, partnership wise and, and like systems and, and the bureaucracy wise, it's di more difficult than that. All right, so there's a lot of people in America, and they want me to ask this. A lot of people in America who believe very strange things. Are you the devil? Uh, is the, this the mark of the beast? The first email that I did get uh, from anybody was, you're the <laughs> devil's mouthpiece. You're the devil's mouthpiece. <laughs> yeah, so I printed it up and I put it on, the, on, my, on my desk. But, uh, uh, you know, the thing that I say to people that are concerned about the mark of the beast, right? Yeah. I, I say, well, if you take the Bible that literally, read the passage. It's mm. very clear that God never thought anybody would have a left hand in the future. And so you just put the devil technology in your left hand you're totally fine. Because it just says right hand or forehead. The devil technology. <laughs> the devil technology, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. What are some of the other drawbacks that people, or what, what, are, what are the some of the fears that you've had to overcome uh, with some of the people who are maybe thinking this will be cool, but don't know? Sure. So uh, with any technology, there's a concern about not knowing how it works, right? Yeah. So the, the first concern is, is it tracking me? Is it GPS of some kind? Uh, and no, uh, GPS doesn't work that way. And, and, and even like, you know, pets, you know, Fluffy gets lost. Mm -hmm. You can't find the dog. The dog has to be found and brought and then scanned and then in very ID. close right. you know, proximity. So, uh, again, it's about identity and not, not tracking. And so, you know, you present the, the, t the tag to, to a reader, and that's why we place them in the hand, because you need to be able to manipulate it and put it up to a reader very easily. Okay, what do you use yours for? I use mine every day for getting in and out of the house, the garage, the office, the data center, unlocking the car door, starting the motorcycle, accessing a fire safe, and logging to the computer. Nice. Okay, uh, if you guys have any questions, would you be willing to jump into the forum later, or maybe after the sure. video's online and, and see some of the questions? Yeah. If you guys have questions, go ahead and uh, just throw them in the forum post to this. Right now, I think it's time to um, time to do some installations. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. Let's do it. And out. Out yet. Ow. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, it doesn't hurt. It does hurt. It's it's a big needle being shoved into your hand. How about you? You've got two. It stung for the first five seconds. Then it turned more into like a pinching kind of feeling. Like somebody was just like clamping me down with some pliers. And then after that, it's just more like a bruise. Like it's all tensed up. 
Not bad. Anyway, so what are we gonna do with this thing, man? I mean, like, you, you came over here like, man, I'm gonna get this thing stuck in my hand. So you got two. You actually got two. You got the RFID NFC, operates on 1356 megahertz. And I got the low frequency uh, RFID on uh, 125 kilohertz. Um, I'm going to go to work tomorrow and get this added to our prox card system and badge in and out with my hand. And the other one, uh, keyless ignition for my car, opening my door at home, turning on my computer potentially. I mean, anything you can use RFID for, anything that can be turned on or off. I mean, well, once you have like a reader, like, well, this one here plugs into like Arduino, but once you have a reader that just reads the thing, then everything on the back end is programmatic. So, I mean, if you have a reader that's plugged into your computer, like USB, you can scan it. And, uh, I don't know, you can make it open up your porn collection. I don't care what you You can also use it to turn on any cyberpunk girl. So, you know, we've got these. So what exactly would you guys do with it if you had uh, just an RFID card? I mean, it doesn't even have to be in your hand. What would you guys do? Put it in the comments down below or put it in the comments on techsyndicate.com. If you put them below in this video on YouTube, we're not going to read them. Put them on Tech Syndicate and I'll, I'll respond. All right, we'd like to thank them all from dangerousthings.com. That's where we got these things. He came over and... Stuck them in our hands, uh, but we are actually thinking about getting some of this stuff listed up on uh, Epic Pants and under some special packaging. So stay tuned for that, and uh, see you guys in the forum. Yeah.